Bignall racing. Gold City's got away with them. Irish Air Knightly sort of began OK with uh, further out here. Mighty Way. Amram travelling forward behind them. Principality Pearl Prince. He's got the whip on it early. It can't keep up towards the speed. Now it's pushing forward. And Callister the Grey is wider out. Mighty Way had the lead. Amram going up now to head him. And Pearl Prince wider out on the track from Irish Air. Callister Knightly sword. Gold City Mushtack. Principality from Rustic Dream. Corporate James. And Tricove went back to the tail. Top weight Amram has taken the front now down the back a half in front of Pearl Prince a length Callister caught wide three deep the grey a length Knightley sword fourth on the inside fifth then Mighty Way drifted off the fence and getting up on the inside of it is Irish Air Callister's pulled his way up to Umrum at the 800 metre mark two to Pearl Prince one for the back Knightley sword now out three deep Irish Air the fence a length for the back Mighty Way Corporate James deep around the outside of Tricove and further back in the race on the outside then Rustic Dream from Mushtack Gold City Principality and Tricove went back to the tail 600 metres to go. Pearl Prince having a crack for the lead. Has gone up to work Amram. Callister under pressure and then came Mighty Way getting out. Corporate James around Knightley sword from Irish Air back on the fence. Then Bush Tack and then taken to the outside. Tricove around Rustic Dream. Amram in front from Pearl Prince when they turn. Mighty Way gets out and Corporate James wider out on the track and Irish Air about to get out. Amram first for home. Irish Air and Corporate James. Corporate James out wide. Hit the front. Here comes Tricove and Rustic Dream. Rustic Dream getting up now to Corporate James. Rustic Dream takes the lead from Corporate James and Irish Air and Rustic Dream wins a length Corporate James, a half hit third Irish Air then to the outside Trico from Mushtack, behind the mum run from Mighty Way, a gap in the race, Pearl Prince Knightley Sword, Principality never came into the play from Gull City and last of all is Callister. Of the three Rustic Dream, 670, 240, two Corporate James, 210, 12 Irish Air 460. On Super Tab, number three Rustic Dream, 620, 220 Two Corporate James, 310, 12 Irish Air at 460. The one and three daily doubles, seven dollars seventy. Third, 12 Irish away Air. They go here and away uh, pretty quickly. All right, we'll leave uh, Kevin there. What's going on here? I've been watching this all week. It's the Urban Contractors. Urban Contractors? What are they? Read the sign. They're award-winning landscape specialists. There they go, the last of the day. And Affections wide out got the best of the jump. Something sharp trying to wrest the lead from Affections. Travelling third, the Bishop. Potter's Yard is in fourth. Posse followed closely then as they settle into stride by Reef King on the inside. Not all that far away next as they sort themselves out on the outside was a Punt. Now as they travel 300 metres and Something Sharp is going to get the lead easily now. Something Sharp by two lengths on Affections. Potter's Yard followed by Reef King. About two lengths further back in the field on the inside side rail is punt and they're being funded on the outside next by shifting wider out on the course is the bishop from Inger and two to hula maze 500 to go something sharp from affections potter's young third reef king fourth and shifting is fifth punt in the center is sixth followed by Inger on the inside and further back shifting at a couple to hula maze and the bishop in the straight 300 to go and something sharp still shows the way in fact he slipped away here a couple of lengths on reef king followed by Inger starting to come home well affections is gone it's still something sharp, a hundred out, about two lengths clear, Inga can't make up the ground, shifting wide out, Reef King sticking on, but a double to the Allen Denham stable something sharp, something sharp beat Inga and shifting, followed home by Reef King, and then came Punt, Hula Maze did very little, followed up by Affections, Potter's Yarn and last was the Bishop Number nine, something sharp 380, 160, six Inga 280 and one shifting 180 Notes on the last Brisbane, winner number seven, Liam Ladd, 6.70 to win, 2.30 to place, one second Buzz Butler, $2.40, four third to Scoundrel, $3.60. Quinella Racing in the final event, 
And they've come out in a good line. Sports came out in the bridle today and paint began brilliantly. So too down on the inside did Sober Affair. Sober Affair in front. Bonneville travelling forward. Paint on the outside with Sparks. And they've got out about three or four lengths in front now from Vane Tycoon, Dry Humour. Two Oompa Loompa and further back Oliver Twist beaten for speed. Talk in front of it. Then Rai Hero and last of all Lorenza. The leader on the inside, Sober Affair, a half in front now. Moving up Bonneville. Two lengths further back as Sports third. One then to Paint. It was carried out a little wide. Two lengths further back as Vane Tycoon. They're followed by Rai Hero going around the outside. Oompa Loompa the middle. One and a half further back. Dry Humour. Talk further back Oliver Twist. And Lorenza last of all. 5.50 out and Bonneville hit the front. Bonneville went to the lead. Rai Hero's right off the track, putting in his claim. They're followed by Vane Tycoon getting out from Paint on the Limper. Sports dropping out and further back in the race. Oliver Twist is not in it. On the turn and here comes Paint and Vane Tycoon. They get to Bonneville and then Rai Hero followed by Oompa Loompa. Paint and Vane Tycoon with 150 to go. On the outside, Paint Vane Tycoon fighting back. Stride for stride. Vane Tycoon again in front. Paint comes up in. They bump near the line. Vane Tycoon wins it ahead to Paint but they bumped a couple of times in the straight. Third out wide is Oliver Twist. Then Bonneville and further back Dry Humour and Columbus Sports. The outside then Chalk followed by Rai Hero Lorenza and last of all is Sabre Affair. Number four, the winner, Vane Tyne Coon at 15.60 and 3.80, 1.230, 6 Oliver Twist, 1.50. Number four, one is second paint. Moving in Toowoomba. And third is number six, Oliver Twist, 4.16 in the last, 4.16. 4.16 to the last. They can't. Moving in Toowoomba. 416, Vane Tycoon, 1573, 1.230, Oliver Twist, number 6, $1.50, Quinella, 47.20, Exacta, 156.70, 416, Trifecta, 357.90, The Daily Double, 3 Rustic Dream and Vane Tycoon, 140.90. A lot of shifting from Vane Tycoon away from the fence. Pass the post on Super Tab, number 4, Vane Tycoon. 1593.60, 1 paint 240, 6 Oliver Twist at 150. Totes on the last at the Gold Coast, winner number 4. That's a look at the uh, uh, the rear view uh, shot of it, and you can see they'll touch again here, I think. Yeah, the uh, horse of the inside of the horse of the outside touch again. There's the steward's room. Now they've got all sorts of angles uh, covered here in the steward's, and at this stage uh, they're just working out whether the horse on the outside, which is paint, and the horse on the inside, which was uh, sports, uh, rather uh, Vane Tycoon, rather, uh, actually clashed. So uh, there you go. It's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Because they did, by the looks of things, touch at least twice there in the home straight. So if you're on, uh, if you're on paint, uh, you are uh, a definite hope. Don't throw away your tickets, says what I'm trying to say. All right, we'll take a short break on Sky and be right back with more after this. The paint, and they're discussing this protest at the moment. I don't exactly know what Brad's trying to say, but I uh, can tell you something, Patrick might have a good case here if in fact uh, his horse was interfered with by Vane Tycoon, who was the ultimate winner across the line. To me, it, uh, it, well, I don't know whether uh, it did appear this way to you as well, but it looked like that horse on the inside did veer out, but the stewards are looking at that right now, and they're hearing both cases from two very good jockeys, Brad Rewilla and Patrick Payne. It's a pretty tough assignment to be in those uh, stewards' rooms, I'm telling you, and uh, it's uh, very, very uh, tightly fought situations uh, both on the racetrack and in the steward's room at times. All right, now uh, the protest pending at Mooney Valley. Uh, Paddy's got to say. Pat, I think Paddy was trying to say there that it, maybe he might have been uh, at fault the second time round, but certainly not the first time round. Uh, we can see there Paddy's on the outside. Now, yeah, to me that looked like uh, the horse uh, the second time round. Uh, Paddy might have veered in himself, but I think he might have got a knock first up. I'm not a steward, though. I've, I've got absolutely no idea what happens in these situations. Uh, so we'll leave it up to those very smart men 
inside the stewards' room in Melbourne. But, you know, I guess you've got your own opinions around the clubs and pubs as well as to which way the produce will go. We'll have the result in a moment. Now, Toowoomba race number three dividends are through. Our Bernie, the winner, at uh, 280 and $1.50. Forest Sprite, 180 Lounge Sweet is at 9.15. Quinella, $10.60. Trifecta, $489 on race three at Toowoomba. The longer the protest goes, of course, the, uh, the longer or well, better chance it is for those folks that are on the second horse. Now, 11, 1 and 2, Quinella, 35, 20, the trifecta, $436 with Mystical Dream storming down the outside at Kembla Grange. Race 5 at Ascot, Russian Lies, 31, 40 and $4.90. Pompeii Chief, $1.60. $6.10 for number 10, Logna Coil. Quinella, 50 on uh, paint. And, uh, well, Brad doesn't look too worried, does he, there? It's an interesting one, isn't it? There's a lot of money. The wind pool in that final event in Melbourne. We might be able to uh, have a look at that wind pool. Uh, there's plenty on this. And it'll be on the uh, approximate dividends. No, it won't be there. It'll be uh, on the actual uh, market that we uh, gave just prior to the race. And we'll just have a look and see what uh, the wind pool is. Yeah, it got up to a million dollars, so there's, uh, there's plenty on this, isn't there? One million and thirty-one thousand dollars in the wind pool alone. Tell you what, there's a few people around Australia that are divided on this one, and I'll tell you what, the stewards are still conferring. This is taking uh, an awful long time. Righto, Cranbourne scratchings. Let's check these out, and uh, we have uh, Cranbourne, and we've got uh, one page of these scratchings. Races one and two is clear. Oh, well, there you go. After all that, the protest has been dismissed, and the stewards deem that it was more Paint's uh, fault, Patrick Payne's uh, problem with the horse shifting in, than it was Brad Willis. So, protest has been dismissed at Mooney Valley. And that concludes what has been an absolutely incredible day of racing. Might and power uh, winning the Cox Plate. And it just ends in that little bit of extra excitement for you with that protest. Here's Pat, race for Toowoomba. Got them moving up nicely for the event. That is Rory.